Well, welcome. It's Monday morning. And this is Motivational Monday. Welcome to our program. Welcome. Our thought today is inspired by this thought. Dr. Seuss has said this. When something happens, you have three choices. You can either let it define you, let it destroy you, or you can let it strengthen you. The choice is totally yours. If you can hear me okay, please let me know if you can or if you cannot. We are here with you, and we're going to be sharing with you experience through things that have happened in your life. And you get to choose which one has helped you. Even if life has certain tragedies that have happened, you can find strength from your tragedies. May that be ours to find strength in our tragedies. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, our podcast is now streaming wherever you're listening to your favorite podcast. We want to thank all of those platforms that are so graciously hosting us and letting us be a part of their podcast family. We say welcome to you. Thank you for being here. I'm excited about this Motivational Monday. And we're going to be celebrating starting for the month of December. We're going to be celebrating all month long our year three. So we're going to call it Three Pete. And if you haven't heard that before, remember when the Lakers won back to back? It was called Three Pete. Three wins. Three wins for the uh, NBA championship. So we're going to Three Pete this year. So just remember the number three. Come celebrate with us. We'd love to have you as a part of our program. So just remember that. We start out with a question. I'm going to ask everybody how you doing. That's important. How are you guys all doing? We are so excited to be able to have you here, and we want to make sure that you guys are ready for us. And we're going to come out on the third year with something wonderful for you. If you haven't experienced Vibe Talk, you can find us even on YouTube channel. Thank you, Trish. You can hear our program in its entirety there. It's always recorded. We, we want to thank everyone for joining us. We're going to talk about what defines you. We're going to take a, a close look at ourselves and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. The program. Cause we're coming out of it's in the night podcast. Come sit your favorite stream. Feel free to join us. 
free to be interactive and tell us your stories. Did you know that Vibe Talk can be found by your using your Alexa, Siri, and even Google? Go ahead, ask them for the latest Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. We're back, and thank you for joining us. Good morning, Trish. Good morning. How are you, and how, how was your weekend? I'm okay. I'm feeling better this morning, so that's I'm, something I'm thankful for as I'm well. So glad to hear that. We're going to be talking about life not defining us when we face things in life how do you feel do you you feel defeated guys do you feel as if you just can't make it or do you feel strengthened by it because life gives us many choices the experience of life whether it's been good challenging or just plain rough we've all been through something when you think about the things that you've gone through how do you look at it how do you look at it you can you're a survivor. You can strengthen yourself, or you can let the whole experience destroy you. Motivation is all about action words. What are you motivated to do when you think about not being defined by your? Tragedy. We think about some things that can happen to other people. You know, we, we look at uh, the things in life that have happened to people. People have had violations. People have been gunned down. People have had, I mean, you name it, you almost meet anyone that has had something happen in their life. It is devastating. But can I tell you something? It may leave scars and it takes a lifetime to heal through things. Those atrocities in life is something that no one should have to be put through. But yeah, we find that people live with much tragedy. You know, we experience loved ones dying. We experience loss of jobs, loss of home, loss of relationships. Ships. It's always some kind of change, but then with change, you learn growth. Let's think about the challenge. If I were to ask you about your challenges in life as you sit and you are joining in the program with us, has it left you with room to grow? Has it left you to feel that even though you were challenged by that, you overcame things in your life? When we think about that overcoming, I think about that power. 
we think about the inevitables of life, and yet we get through by and by. We also know that life is steady changing. What do you do with the challenges that you face in life? How does it motivate you or does it motivate you? There was an experience of a young woman who was violated at 16 years old. 16. She didn't tell anybody what happened to her. And it took her seven years from that tragedy. Why did it take her so long? In her, her words, she says that she didn't want people to look at her and feel feel sorry for her. She didn't even want men to look at her and consider her damaged. She didn't want that. She didn't want people talking about her. Because she felt like she had earned a blemished reputation. And in her words, she says, she felt as if she earned that reputation by being in the wrong place at the wrong time. As if she wanted to be violated. She didn't want that. Seven years later, she began talking to people about it. Then she let it go. She didn't want people to define her as named, this is the girl who was violated. She didn't want that to be her platform or her story, even though that event happened to her. She took that personal trauma and turned it into life's work. Even though she didn't feel like she could handle that work, she said that when she opened herself up, she talked about the uncomfortable thing that happened to her. And she felt like they would get tired of her telling her story. Good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining our program as we talk about things that define us, or does it? And where are you listening in from? Please and thank you. This is Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. If you're here today, please go and support our YouTube page. Uh, you will see information throughout the show here today, our podcast. If you like our podcast, please subscribe to our YouTube page. By the way, our program is always recorded. Her life became the story that she needed to speak about. She did not make that 
a story of tragedy. Although tra tragedy happened, that was not her story. We want you to understand here at Vibe Talk that whatever happens to you, that you can't erase what is a piece of your life that has traumatized you or caused you pain. You may want to. How many of you want to erase the pain that has happened in your life? all want to but I want you to realize something that you are not your pain you have other parts to you I want you to think about the other parts to you besides your pain you have amazing parts of you if you're funny you're able to make people laugh. If you're a warm person, you're able to help people feel welcome. If you're kind, those are the amazing parts of you. And if your loved ones, whether they're family, friends, or friends, they don't see you as that person that had experienced tragedy. They see parts of you that are amazing. But I'm going to ask you something. Do you see parts of you that are amazing? Things that make you who you are. But makes you endeared to other people because see we can say to other pe people how much we love them how much we like them we find them amazing and when we find out their stories we get to know them does it change how we feel about them for me it doesn't change how i feel about them I want you all to think about this and how it affects you. How it affects you and what you want to do about it. How does life influence you? How have you been challenged by what has been thrown into your life? I'm including myself in this as well. We all have something that has challenged us. But what have you learned from it? We're going to be right back. Stay tuned. Feel free to be interactive and tell us your stories. I heard radio, Apple Music, YouTube, and Facebook. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. Go give it a shot. <laughs> We're back. We're talk talking about not allowing life to define what has happened to you. We know in our world that we learn, we experience, we grow, and many of you are resilient to your pain. You are resilient to your pain. By this I mean that you have incredible strength that you have been able to empower yourself with that you didn't even know. I want you to think about that. Your, your calling card is not 
the tragedy, the pain that you've been through. We think about, like I said, many of you are survivors. You have been empowered with incredible strength. You've been able to rise above just like that young woman in the beginning of our story. I want you today to make a badge of honor for something that you have had to overcome. We usually use that for our Wednesday um, expression through art. But I think today would be a good day to introduce a badge of honor. I want you to make one for yourself. You can paint it. You can color whatever you want to do. And I want you to wear that badge this week because every time that that horrific thing comes comes up in your mind, I want you to be able to say, and I survived it. See, that's what follows. Yes, I have been through this. Yes, that pain has strengthened me. Yes, I'm going to claim it. But I am strength. I am courage. I have survived it. You know, because we could feel sorry for ourselves, right? And so many people feel sorry for themselves. What do you think about that, Trish? I think that's a real feeling because I felt that before when I was getting bullied. So I felt that feeling of feeling sorry for myself. And I also felt the feeling of, I probably deserve it because of how they're treating me. So I know how that feels. Thank you. You're welcome. Our amazing co-host. If any of you have experienced the violation that I said before, we're speaking to you, we're speaking into you, and hope hope that life finds you motivated to empower yourself with strength and courage, lion-like courage, that is. Here's some situations. And now you're the only person that knows your situation. Maybe it's none of these that I'm going to mention. But these are, these are some pretty impactful things. A miscarriage. I don't know if any of you have had that. I've had that happen. Uh, relationships. Someone is cheating. Job loss. A house fire. Illness. Accident. Those things impact your life, and they are hard to deal with. And if you've ever been through it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But now let, let me ask you, does it have to impact your entire life for the rest of your life? Does it really? Because here's the key. Remember the keys that I said that everybody must have in year one? If you've got your key, I want you to take your key out. And I want you to say, what will these keys help me to do? Because keys are useful. Everybody has keys. Some of us may have a key that doesn't go to anything anymore. But you are something amazing. You have the key to decide how that key will fit and shape into your life. Because as you see, the keys that you have may not fit into my life. Just like the car keys, we have different car keys. Thank God, God we all do. But now 
Now your key that you have made in year one, if you've been with us in year one, if you haven't, you can ask me about those keys. That's a metaphoric way of stepping into your life to access yourself. Empower yourself with accessing yourself. Don't just sit there. Be lion courageous. Lion in courage. Facing your lion and being able to face your pain. It's not easy. And no one said it would be. You have to work through those tragedies. Here's some steps I'm going to give you, and it's your choice. How many of you have ever felt grief before? You grieved a loss relationship. You had a loss of someone who has passed away. How many of you have experienced that? I have. How easy was it for you to grieve? Was it easy? No, it wasn't. Yeah. So here we're acknowledging that grief is not easy, but we've all done it. Some of us are in the grieving stage in our lives right now. And we want you to take all the time that you need to grieve. Let no one say to you to get over it, be done with it. You should have handled that, although I want you to be able to learn how to, because many of us don't have the key that masters our grief. Keys are important. How many of you are learning to cope with your current situation right now? I am. I have a situation right now. I'm learning to cope. Whereas before I would have went into rage, I'm learning to calm the storm. Not an easy thing to do when you're going through something. It's easier said than done. How many of you are learning to cope at this point right now in your life? Anybody? I am. Yeah, you're learning to cope. Remember, your coping skills you're not born with. We learn that. How, how many of you have the skill to vet something and not Stay in the venting. You want to vent. Something made you angry. You have every right to say that really made me feel angry. Or it really hurt me when you. Because people will tell you that you're arguing with them when you're trying to simply vent to them. It's Especially the people that hurt you the most. And you know what happens when you vent? People that don't, don't want to be accused. They don't want to hear you. It's as if they become deaf all of a sudden. How many of you have tried to vent? And a person closes a deaf ear to you. Anybody? I have. Yeah, you know what that's like. How does that make you feel when people do that? It makes me even more upset mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I am trying to talk to them and tell them how they make me feel. But it's like they're in denial that they're capable of making me feel like that. So... They just rather not listen to me yeah. and go on. That has happened. How many of you have been so raged that you have jumped out of your character, the person you normally were, because you were so enraged about something? You see, 
I have. Yeah. See, we have to learn, and this is what Vibe Talk is all about, learning to control the rage that we may have. Because the woman that was sexually violated may or may not have had rage. Some of you are still holding on to rage. I ask that you not stay in that because what has happened to you is real. It's understandable. While there are many of you who have adapted to your situation, Learn what life is like and that everything is not a bowl of cherries with whipped cream. You've learned through your struggle. And that, that, my dears, have made you strong. That has made you powerful, your strength, because you discovered through all of that that you're still standing. Here you are. It's beautiful. Beautiful thing. Good morning to those of you who are coming in. I want you to know that life will present to you things that you need to vent, things that make you angry. But there is something you can choose to do. There are master keys that you have. We talk about the brain. We talk about the brain's ability to be able to say, I will not stay in that pain. Sometimes we see people and the way they may treat us. We can't expect them to treat us how we want them to but we can say we will not allow that you see what what choices are we making because really we're talking about choices and how we come through them we want you to be able to mend yourselves and give you the keys to access yourself Because in life, you're going to learn something. And the thing that you're going to learn is how how to access yourself. Does that make sense to everyone? Because you see, we just don't sit here and tell you everything and then and say, well, go do it, because we know that it's easier said than done. We realize that. We're asking you here today what choices are you making? We want you to be able to access yourself. Does you understand? All of us. All of us. have the power to do it. Let's be more motivated to do that as we think about it. And if I'm triggering anybody today that is listening, we have one-on-one sessions. Doesn't cost you anything but your time. We welcome donations if that's what you want to do. You don't have to. It's free that we are here. And we know that some of these podcasts are going to trigger people. We know that you've been through some things that have made you feel unstable, not lovable. Worthy. We get it. We want you to understand that you are not defined by anything that has come your way. We want you to think about the 
impact in your, your life and where you are now versus where you were when it first happened to you. Because I'll bet you something that you didn't realize that you had strength, incredible strength, lion-like strength. Good morning and welcome. Sometimes in our lives, we're faced with new, with new things. How many of us in the last couple of weeks have been faced with something new? Me. But I can rise above it. It's going to make me strong. I look forward to the strength that I will have learned from it. It's going to be something new that challenges you. We want you to think about your being able to, when things come to you, being able to know how do I deal with this? How do I refocus and get back on that road to life? And the road to life, we're talking about journeying in your life, staying refocused because, you know, you got to be able to see direction. When things happen in our life, it keeps us at a standstill, some of us. But in my life, I haven't met some of the most incredible people in life can't even believe that the things that have happened to them have happened to them. But that experience have made them strong. Did you hear that? Strong. What do you choose? You choose to stay in your tragedy, stay in your pain, or would you like to journey on because we all have to experience things we all have to experience something new something wonderful and in that new and wonderful is the challenged and the ugly that's just life I want you to be able to, no matter what happens on your journey in life, to gain access to yourself and your being refocused. Because today's inspiration is all about your choices and what you do with them. Just like the lady who said she didn't want to be known as the person that was violated. Because it's, it's amazing what people do with their pain. Here's what I don't hope that you would do, is not talk, talk about your pain. Because you see, my talk has helped other people through their pain. By the way, in vibe talk, we have a color section on YouTube in its entirety. Thank you, Trish, for putting that up. And we do that so that you guys understand that these podcasts are to help you gain access to yourself without being medical doctors. I am a licensed professional. Certified, professional, life coach. We have many resources here for you. If you need a resource, we're able to do that, but we in no way give you medical advice, not at any time, because we are not doctors. But we're asking you about your choice. We're having an open discussion about that. What is your choice through life when you are faced with things? 
Remember, that doesn't have to be the card that you're dealt with. When you are faced with things of a tragic nature, pain. When we think about tragedy, when someone says tragedy, something has happened. And that something is not a good something because no one wants to experience that. And if we've ever been faced with any kind of tragedy in our lives, we know that it's discomfort, painful. We don't look forward to it. But just about everyone that is going to listen to this podcast world over has experienced tragedy and pain. But you know what makes the difference is how you choose to deal with it. And we're asking you today, how are you choosing to deal with your pain and Challenges. Going to be right back. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Face my eyes. Face my eyes. Did you know that Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast is on YouTube? as well as platforms that you are listening to right now. Add us in as your favorite podcast. It's my talk, Facing the Lion podcast. So now, we have learned that your, your tragedy is not who you are. You take Take that and you use it for your strength and empowerment. We talk about a lot of things in Vibe Talk for the purpose of you being able to say, I know what that feels like. Yes, I face that. We're going to ask you a question, come a little closer. What defines you? I said, what defines you? Let's think about that for a moment. What defines you? If it isn't tragedy that defines you, we're going to ask, what is it that defines you? What defines you? I want you all to think about that. I'm going to ask the questions that people don't ask on a day to day basis. What defines you? What are you known for? And if anyone of you says you don't know, I want you to access your keys to yourself. Because that's important to define you. If it isn't the tragedies in our life, what defines you? We're all different. What defines me? Strength? My laugh? My straightforwardness? my honesty, and that I'm able to really say how I feel. Even more so now, my dimples, my voice, 
we're going to ask you what defines you. If it isn't a tragedy in our life, we must think about what defines us because we're connected. We're intertwined with people. We thrive off of other people. But now I'm going to ask you, you are the holder to the, the key that defines you. Yes, I know you've been through something. Yes, you know I've been through something. But now we're going to build a brand for you. Because it's who you are. Who are you? Have you, you been lost in translation of yourself? Have you chosen not to deal with the experience in your life and you avoided that road to deal with what you're going through? Or are you right now getting refocused? Because when you're refocusing, that's the healing parts of your life. And I really came to understand the healing parts of my life when I started really studying for becoming a life coach. People say, well, you don't have to study for that, but I wanted to. And it's been very successful. I'm so glad I've done that. It made me more aware of, wow, people really must define and connect to who they really are. It is so amazing when you get connected to you. When you start the healing process in your life, people don't know who you are. But you do because you say, what? I want to get healed. I want to get refocused. Although this has happened to me, I want to get healed. So if those things of tragedy and pain don't define you and you don't want to be known by that, we're asking, what is it that defines you? And if you're at the I don't know stage, I'm going to help you out a little bit to help you think about if you were building your brand of yourself. Who you are speaks louder than what you've done and what you do. Who are you? We know in the uh, working world, people market, people plan, people rise to the top of their game, but now in life, can you say that you're doing that? You can do whatever you'd like. And we think about ourselves. What you do. What adds to your life. What has strengthened you? What have you expressed? What are your desires in life? I challenge you to ask somebody that. Your voice. By talks. Helps you to find your voice you know people say they've lost their voice and i never understood that until one day it just dawned on me what they're saying is they've never been able to use their voice they've never been able to have been heard through their voice They've never spoken up, up in their voice. How many of you have felt like that? Anybody? I have. Yeah. So you know what that is. So, Trish, you 
do music. You do music. Are you finding your voice through your music? Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because your voice is your instrument through that music. Many people who are in the industry of modeling, their eyes behold their voice it speaks. Because I speak to people, my voice comes through when I speak. I want you to to have a good voice. I want you to be remembered for what you do. Not losing your voice, but accessing your key to find your own voice. Let that define you. When you hear it, do you know who you are? See, other people may know who you are. And they say, oh, that's Trish, or that's Nisi, or that's so-and-so. But now I want you, when you hear and you speak, to know your voice. Get familiar with it. Get connected to it. Your style is another way. How you express yourself. For the, those of us who have hair, we wear our hair in many different styles, don't we? Hair is a fun thing if you have it. And if you don't, that's okay too. Sometimes people may prefer to wear wigs and that's okay, or hats, that's okay. That is your style. That is your expression. Expression. Some people are known for uh, hoodies. Some people are known for wearing black. You have the keys to access your style. Whatever it is, we're going to be right back. <laughs> We're talking about what defines you in your choices. Whatever your style is, make it who you are. And when you choose your expression, what are you expressing? Or excuse me, when you you choose your expression. Who is it attracting? A lot of us are known for our mannerisms. People make fun of my laugh. And at the same time say it's very infectious. That's a good thing, because I like my laugh. So I'll be known for my mannerisms. A gentleman came up to me one time, and he said, you know something? When you laugh, your laugh is very sincere. It is a deep laugh within you. You see how people recognize that? Now, you may may or may not have that character about you, but you may also have something else that your mannerisms are known by. Because my laugh impacts someone else. 
We're talking about what defines you. How many times has someone hugged you and you say that hug didn't feel right? We're not going into the what kind of a hug it was. We're just saying it just didn't set right with you. How many of you have experienced that? I have. Yeah. And what was that like for you? Can you tell us the experiment? It made me feel some kind of way, like in a negative sense, because the hug didn't feel genuine. And when I hug, I don't hug people. So when I do hug people, I want to feel the genuineness of another person when I hug them. So I didn't feel that from that person. I'm there with you. Let's get into it. There are people who hug you and genuinely hug you. And what? hug you so tight or hug you to let their words speak volumes. I've been at funerals and I know that I, I can't say what people usually say, you know, because we are sorry for their loss, but at that time, you know, I want to be a little different. So sometimes most of the time, I should say, I will Hug them to let them know I'm there. But then there are some times where I've got the church hug. Anybody ever had a church hug? Where they just kind of pat you? Yes, I've had that. I, I always warn people who have done that to me, don't ever do that to me again. Because you don't have to hug me. There's nowhere that says you got to hug me. Because when you don't want to do it, the other person who's receiving that hug is going to feel it. So if you don't feel like hugging, don't do it. Don't give people the church hug if you don't want that speech. Because I will tell you in a minute. How about handshakes? You know, you know, we were in the COVID and we had to say six feet apart. And we weren't able to do that. Now we're back to that. When someone shakes your hand, you can even tell if they're really sincere about shaking your hand. I'm a left-hander. So because the right-handed person shakes my hand, am I making it awkward for them? Maybe so, but they're going to shake my left hand. How about when you talk to people? Does it define your character when you're looking eye to eye when they're talking to you? Or do you look away? <laughs> I watched a, a comedy. I don't, I don't know what comedy show it was. But it was funny because the lady said, you know, you're, you're like a stalker. She told her husband. <laughs> and he said, why? Because you kiss me with your eyes open. <laughs> Mannerism. People don't look at each other when they kiss each other. <laughs> Just thought that was funny because that was his mannerism. How about when we, in everyday language, defining ourselves? Who are we? In linguistic terms, and linguistic terms, do we or are we known for having to censor ourselves because we use foul language? Are you a person that's present, or are you somewhere far away, far, far, far away when you're in a group of people and we're engaging in conversations? Are you on the phone? have to have your phone out. I watched the other day people walking. And I said, boy, they're really going to hurt themselves because they're walking, looking at their phone, and not even realizing that they're in the human world. Are we staying present? What defines you? Are those good things to think about? 
because we need to think about them. You are who you are. There's much work to be done on all of us. May it be ours to be able to think about the choices that we have. Because if you're letting life destroy you, nobody will ever know who you are. I'm asking you to find yourself in the midst of your life. Wherever you are at this point, whatever you're dealing with at this point, find and be motivated by the power that exists in you. Places yours. We'll be right back with Trisha's Treasures as soon as this commercial break. Feel free to be interactive and tell us your stories. Thank you for being with us. Trish, I'm going to turn it over to you. How I define me. That is something that I haven't been thinking about in the past years, but now I do. I've been working on that for the last three years of defining me and how I want to view myself instead of how others view me. And it's a breath of fresh air because I allowed my mind to be controlled on validation of other people and how they view me in a negative way. And it created self-hatred for me. And now, in this present day, I am choosing to focus on me and think about how I view myself. And I do that by making music and clearing my mind from what others said about me in the past when I was bullied by replacing it with positive feelings, true positive feelings, because it can't be something, I'm just telling myself this and I don't believe it. I have to be honest with myself before I put it on a track. So that's how I define, I define myself through my music and I define myself in a positive way because I know I'm kind. I know I'm a genuine person. I know I am a person that people can talk to and I do not hate myself. I'm so thankful to God that I that I have changed from that mindset. It is so awesome. I feel emotional right now because it's a because it's a great feeling. It's a <laughs> it's an amazing feeling to have because regardless of if someone says i don't think you can do it i have me and i can say you know what they think that but i'm gonna see for myself so see when i see for myself i'm proud of myself because i took the challenge and i am so happy to say that i deserve to make this badge that i have created Look at that! <laughs> yes. Whoa, Let's get it clear. Go, go, go do it. Go back. Do it. This, okay. This is part of our. Oh, I love that. Oh my goodness! Did you just make that just now? Yeah, I did. Oh my goodness! Look at that, guys! 
get a group. Come to our channel, you'll be able to see that, and you're going to see it on uh, YouTube as well. Thank you for that. I encourage everybody. Let me be quiet and uh, you do your segment. I'm sorry. It's okay. But yes, I am so thankful that I get to have this badge. And I'm going to post it on my home screen on my computer so I can remind myself yeah. that I am a survivor of self hatred and I love me. And I'm going to continue doing things that send me the right message. I'm going to give myself a genuine hug oh, my instead of giving you make me cry. <laughs> I know I'm not trying to, but I'm so much proud of you. I'm proud of me too. I'm gonna start crying in a minute. Um, <laughs> don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. Oh my goodness! But yes, I'm going to put this on my home screen as a reminder. I think that everybody should make themselves a badge of what they survived on to put it either their computer screen or home screen or something to remind themselves I am not a victim of this mindset that I can change it I can be who I want to be and not what others see me as I am not my struggle I am not my pain and it took me three years to know that but I'm thankful that I know that so see guys we do prepare on this show we got a mark this for year, year three. <clears throat> Was that all, Terrish? Yes, that's all. Face my eyes, face my eyes. Wow. Thank you so, so much for Trisha's treasures. You want to find more of Trisha's treasures, please hashtag that because it is a very important part of our web talk facing the lion. We do get emotional in here. And if any of you have been in those shoes and knows about giving yourself permission to be courageous like the lion, beautiful artwork Trish I want to leave you guys with this thought today that you are a real living person every day my desire is to reach people people of all, all sorts old men woman so that you understand and are aware of accessing yourself you're aware of who you are despite what you have been through raising awareness self-consciousness of yourself taking responsibility for be being the person that you are, taking accountability for the person or the people that you are. It's up to you to figure out what defines you. Remember, be motivated regardless of what has happened, to choose strength destruction or defining your true person. You and only you can do that. May you have lion like power throughout the week. Until you join us again on Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast, let us know here how you felt about what you've heard. You can direct connect with us 
directly, 661-503-8993. Leave us a voicemail, and we want, want to say thank you for joining Live Talk Facing the Wall. Thank you to my amazing co-host, Trish, for being here, always doing our YouTube page. Thank you for keeping that orderly. Thank you for the work that you did for me over the weekend. And thank you just for being your beautiful self. We'll see you next time. And I challenge you to find who you really are. Have a good day. I was really by the moon, and then I got the vibe with it. I really took a time with it. I really looked around with it. Yeah, really got the vibe with it. I really looked around with it. Yeah, yeah. I really looked around with it. Yeah, yeah. I really got the vibe with it. Yeah, I'm just saying something.